Now, in this question, uh, we have to solve this circuit using nodal analysis and then we have to find how much power is delivered by this 10 volt source. Okay, so that is the question. Now, notice that uh, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 nodes or junctions. Okay, let me call them as A, B, C and D. And let me choose this node to be at the reference potential 0 volt. And suppose the potential at this point is VA. Here it is VB and here it is VC. Then let us apply nodal analysis. Uh, that is, uh, we have to write Karshoff's current law in these three nodes VA, VB and VC. Okay. So, uh, consider node A first. Okay. And let's consider uh, uh, current going out. Total current going out from any node uh, should be equal to 0. And let us calculate how much is the total current going out from node A. Okay. Now, this point is at 0 volt. That means this point is at minus 10 volt. So, how much current is going out in this direction here from node A? That is VA minus, uh, minus 10 by 10. Okay. So, VA minus minus 10 by 10 ohm. This is this current. Next, how much current is going out towards the right? That is VA minus VB by 5. Okay. So, VA minus VB by 5. This is the current going out towards the right. And how much is going out in this direction from node A? That is VA minus VC by 10. Okay. So, plus VA minus VC by 10. 10. Now, all together this should be equal to uh, 0. Okay, this plus this plus this should be equal to 0. Now, uh, if we multiply uh, this equation throughout uh, with 10, then we get uh, VA plus 10 uh, plus 2VA minus 2VB plus VA minus VC. This is equal to 0. So, from this, uh, if we take VA common from here, here and here, we have 4VA then minus 2VB and minus 1VC and uh, this it will be equal to minus 10. Okay, let me call this equation number 1. Now, let us consider say uh, node uh, uh, node B. Okay, this node. Okay, so then how much current is going out downwards? That is VB minus 0 by 20. Okay, VB minus 0 by 20. Then how much current is going out towards the left? That is VB minus VA by 5. VB minus VA by 5. And how much is going to the right? That is VB minus VC by 5. Plus VB minus VC by 5. Altogether, this should be equal to 0. Now, if we multiply this equation with 20, then we will have VB plus 4VB minus 4VA plus uh, 4VB and minus 4VC. This is equal to 0. So, from here we get minus 4VA. Then VB, uh, the coefficient of VB is 4 plus 4 plus 1, 9 plus 9 VB 
and with vc we have minus 4 minus 4 vc this is equal to 0 let me call this equation number 2 then uh, let us consider this node node c okay now how much current is uh, going out in this way notice that this point is at 0 volt so that means this point is at 20 volt so this current is vc minus 20 by 20 vc minus 20 by 20 this is the current going downwards away from vc then consider the current going out towards the left that is vc minus vb by 5 plus vc minus vb by 5 then this current is vc minus va by 10 vc minus va by 10 this is the total amount of current going out from node c and this should be equal to 0 now if we multiply this equation throughout with 20 then we will have vc minus 20 plus 4 vc uh, minus 4 vb plus 2 vc minus 2 va this is equal to 0 from this we can write minus 2 va minus 2 va and uh, then with vb we have minus 4 minus 4 vb and with vc we have 1 plus 4 5 plus 2 7 plus 7 vc and if we bring this 20, minus 20 to the right we will have plus 20 let me call this equation number 3 ok uh, now we have to solve for this VA, VB, VC ok and for that we will use Kramer's rule ok and To apply Kramer's rule, let me first write the coefficients of uh, V, A, V, B and V, C in these three equations 1, 2 and 3 in a matrix form. Okay, So here we have 4, minus 2, minus 1. 4, minus 2, minus 1. Then in equation 2, we have minus 4, 9 and minus 4 minus 4 9 and minus 4 okay and in equation 3 we have minus 2 minus 4 and 7 minus 2 minus 4 and 7 now also uh, let me write these constants on the right hand side uh, so in equation 1 we have minus 10 then in equation 2 we have 0 and then in equation 3 we have 20 ok so these are the coefficients for v a b and c and these are the constants in the three equations now how do we apply Kramer's rule ok let me first solve for v a so v a will be equal to the ratio of two determinants which are those two determinants so this matrix let me copy and put it here and then let me put another copy upstairs but now since we are solving for VA uh, we will remove replace these coefficients of VA in the numerator with this constants minus 10 0 and 20 this uh, minus 10 0 and 20 now you calculate the determinant of this matrix and then you divide that by the determinant of this matrix that will give us the value of VA and according to my calculation this is uh, minus 130 by 82 please check this ok so we got VA Similarly, you can also find VB and VC, but that is not required because 
we have to find power delivered by this 10 volt source now how much is the power delivered by this 10 volt source that will be same as uh, the voltage uh, this voltage plus minus voltage of the lower end with respect to the upper end multiplied by the current uh, flowing in this way okay so this current multiplied by this voltage will be the power supplied or delivered by this source now how much is this voltage uh, that is the voltage of the lower node with respect to the upper node so 0 minus minus 10 so this is equal to 10 and how much is this current so this current is same as this current ok this is also I and how much is this so that will be PA minus minus 10 by 10 ok so uh, so let me write finally that uh, power delivered by uh, 10 volt source is equal to V into I where this voltage V we have already calculated it is 10 okay, 10 and how much is this current I this current I uh, look here this current I is PA minus minus 10 by 10 PA minus minus 10 by 10 and PA is already known which is here so we have uh, so you can cancel this 10 and 10 and you have uh, PA plus 10 so that is minus 130 by 82 uh, plus 10 and according to my calculation this is 8.4146 this is in volt that is the answer